an abandoned wasteland in the middle of Reservoir. The site formerly known as Lakeside Secondary College has become a forgotten dump. How does it make you feel? I actually can't believe it. I did not think it was this bad at all. It's really, it's upsetting. It's really sad. It's not, it's, it's, I don't know, it's sad. It's not Lakeside anymore. There is graffiti everywhere you look and glass everywhere you step. This is now a playground for criminals. When photos of the wreckage emerged publicly, the outcry was immense. Courtney Harmon was Lakeside's school captain in 2007. Courtney, tell me how you felt when you first became aware of this. I uh, really devastated. I thought it's so really terrible what's happened to the school. I mean, so many people have such good memories of, of spending all their teen years at that school and it's just horrible that somebody's disrespected it so badly. The school was left abandoned after its closure in December last year and it didn't take long for the vandals to swoop. Vast amounts of school equipment, including discarded computer monitors and solar panels, were left inside unlocked buildings. The school's hall is easy access. This was the school's library, and an eerie silence now befalls these corridors. No building has been left untouched, and the damage bill is incalculable. As recently as the 17th of February, I actually came down myself to have a look at the place, and uh, I disturbed two criminals um, stealing copper piping from appliances inside the premises and they were both arrested and charged with burglary and I noticed then that um, there was a lot of damage inside the uh, inside the building there was a lot of graffiti uh, there was a lot of um, property thrown around and and uh, windows were open and doors were, were, were just unlocked and there was open access this is the back of the school's oval, where a wire gate has been left open. Behind that gate is Mary Creek, and behind that is the suburb of Faulkner. Police believe Faulkner may be where some of the vandals come from. So Jesse, this is the first time you've been back here since you found out about the damage? Yeah, yeah, I haven't been back since. I've only seen it in the paper, the photos in the local paper. How does it compare? It doesn't. Every window is being knocked out. There's just damage and graffiti to everything. The photos you just saw, a couple of school, um, a couple of the classrooms and a couple of photos of broken windows, but it's literally every single, every surface of the school has been damaged in some way. As you can see here, we even caught the vandals on camera. While we were filming here today, we caught vandals graffitiing parts of the school. The graffiti you see behind me is what we caught them doing. This is what the same wall looked like the next day. The property still belongs to the Education Department, but they declined for an on-camera interview with Newsline. They did, however, release this statement, claiming that the site is no longer needed for educational purposes and will be sold in due course. It's, it's a situation where it's attracting undesirables who, uh, who come down here for illegal purposes such as stealing, damaging property and um, drug use. Although I haven't seen any evidence of any drug use to date, but uh, that could happen. And there's also the risk that uh, people wandering around here in, at night time inside the premises could, could injure themselves, or it, it, it's not beyond the realms of uh, possibility that someone could come here and just torch the place, burn it to the ground. The Education Department decided not to comment any further. Adam Sarri, Jawlaw for Newsline.